going on everybody it's your buddy in today's video we're gonna talk about some stuff that you guys ask me always every single stream by the way stream dot uh tv slash noted was taken lives every single day uh let's talk about my kovax routine what i like to use to practice my aim and stuff like this like i think uh, a lot of people ask me this in the daily basis when i'm streaming and i think that's gonna be a good one for you guys if especially if you care about getting better okay uh this is gonna help you in any fps that you play but specifically low ttk fps meaning that the amount the like you don't it doesn't require tracking pretty much like it's super fast to kill someone it's per, it's pretty much precision clicking um so fps like csgo valorant stuff like this uh so i'm just gonna share with you guys my full weekly routine uh, i'm gonna put in the screen right now for you guys in the when i'm editing this video what i want to talk about is that no matter what you do if you do the exercise correctly it's way different than if you keep repeating yourself <clears throat> and try to go as fast as possible it's just not going to help you what you want here is consistency first of all uh go for clusters what is clusters like those two targets are very close to each other so it's pretty it's kind of easy to like click them like all of this like together like for example this is a little cluster if you want to go for scores right the third thing or the fourth i don't remember is that if you're going to play uh scenarios like this one what you want to pay attention is that from one spot to the other you don't want to do like a line like this like you know like a lot of i see a lot of people doing this like you don't want this shit what you want is precision in making a straight smooth line and that's why I like to uh, pr uh, practice in tracking scenarios like Team Gauntlet. It's a great scenario. So you want extreme precision from, for example, if I want to go from here for, to here, I want extreme precision and literally the, the straightest line possible. But you're going to be keeping repeating this every single day, uh, at least for a month, I should say. Especially if you're new to PC, there's a lot of new players coming to Valorant that come from uh, League of Legends uh, and other games. And you guys are very welcome because it's amazing. Uh, but if you want to get better in FPS games in general, you should definitely use trainers like this one. Uh, there's a guy called Aimer7. He talks a lot about Amy and for me... Is pretty much the only guy that I, I I pay attention when it comes to to Amy because he knows what he's talking about. Uh, and there's a lot of guides that he put it out. So if you guys search for Amy server, you're probably gonna find out. But back in what I do, I do my routine and always in the beginning of each exercise. If I'm brand new to the exercise, I'm never gonna try to go for scores. I'm literally gonna do it like this. That's it. It's gonna be boring, but I don't care. I want 100% accurate, and I want soft and smooth lines between each target, right? Another thing that I use that I don't I don't really talk much about is this, which is the Halo Sport headset. There's some some little spikes. This was invented by a neuroscientist. It's pretty. It's called the transcranial direct magnetic stimulation. This helps you to learn new pathways in your brain way to learn a new movement is when you create a new pathway in your brain meaning that one synapse will communicate to the other one sending a sign for a specific movement so let's use lebron james or kobe bryant as an example imagine they're in the final of a tournament after a long season they need to shoot the free throw and guarantee those three points so their team can get to the championship imagine the pressure Imagine dealing with the entire crowd chanting against you so you purposely miss your shots and their team wins. But no matter what type of situations those top-notch players are in, they already have pathways for each movement so they don't really need to think about any shot, they just go and they do it. When it comes to gaming, it's pretty much the same. You have pathways for each movement that you do. So each pathway leads to a different type of movement and one single pixel in a wrong pathway can be the difference between winning that 1v1 and losing the entire game. So one synapse is going to communicate to the other synapse and pretty much send the sign of a pathway of information. So what do I mean with that? When you understand a new sensitivity or when you learn and learn something or when you become, when you become precise, if you repeat every single pathway so if i want to repeat this every single day each each thing here is a pathway in my brain from one synapse sending information to the other one 
And I interview uh, the guy that, that created this uh, from, it's, a, it's called a Halo Sport 2. It's a very serious company. They have this uh, for selling in their website and everything. There's a lot of science, science, scientists, science behind it. And I interview uh, the CEO of the company. It was a, kind of a private interview. And he explained to me what it, what, how it works, what it does. So before giving you guys this information, I always research. I always talk with the legit people. That way I'm not fooling you guys or, or stuff like this. The Halo Sport 2 was created by Daniel Shaw. He's a medical doctor by training, but also a neuroscientist. He went to Stanford Medical School and since then he's been studying electricity and how electricity can help the human brain. But just to set the stage, uh, in the next 20 minutes, I want to introduce to you a whole new paradigm of human performance that I will argue has remained untapped until now. Just so you guys can have an idea how serious this technology is and how this is innovating the human boundaries and how we can achieve better cognitive performance with 2x, 10x or even more with the use of this technology. Even the American army is using to train snipers and the American marine is using to train UAV pilots. Army has been using this technology to train snipers where the training times are accelerated by 2x if you train these soldiers with neurostimulation versus not. I'm being straight up and I don't gain nothing from this so I, I'm not telling no one to, to buy this okay I don't have a link or anything like this if you want to help me anyways is it's lag okay uh, I have my link in the description for is it's lag uh, so, but let's get back into it if you want to get bet better at aiming you need to have a routine. As soon as we wake up, we're in the theta wave, meaning that it's easy to absorb information. And normally what we do, as soon as we wake up, what it is? Pick up the cell phone, let's see what's going on, let's see the new videos, yo, the new Noter video, you know what I mean, let, let me like that. But as soon as you wake up, you gotta go crazy in the cell phone, you, gotta, you go nutty, right? That's not what you want. When you wake up, from now then, you're going to go to your PC, open Cogex, and do your routine. You're going to sit in there in the first 15 minutes of your day, and it's going to do like this. Like a zombie, because that's how I feel when you wake up and I'm doing this. Literally like a little zombie. And 15 minutes before I go to bed, do the same routine. Again. The routine is, is, will be in the description, the link for my routine. If you guys want to do it, it uh, doesn't mean that it's correct. That's just the one that I like. But yeah, check it out. But back into it. So if you want to improve, you got to do baby steps. So baby steps, when I used to play tennis, what is baby steps? You're pretty much doing the movement as low as possible in the curves and stuff like this. Uh, and in aiming, relating to aiming, you you trying to understand, like, when you do a perfect session, this is actually one thing that I got from a book called The Little Book of Talent. It is an amazing book. When I used to play tennis, I read it. This book is amazing because it, it was is a coach that went through the major part of the, the, the world that has the best athletes, the best amazing athletes, like the top notch of the top notch. And he took notes of what is working, how they learn, and how you can be a top performer. And in gaming, it's not different. If you want to be a top performer, you need discipline, you need a routine, and you need to be very, very, uh, you, you got to pay attention to yourself, right? So your mistakes. So if I'm, if I'm doing an exercise and I'm not evolving after a month of doing, and if there's something wrong, like you either not doing something uh, correct, okay? You got to evolve. You always can track your you're evolving but humans we tend to go like this like we, we evolve super quick and then we become in a pretty much like a plateau and how you break the plateau again it's not like change your sensitivity i'm very against this shit. uh it's pretty much doing the exercise correctly like try to try to go back to your to your roots like when you started when you first started when when you're a kid you want to learn how to walk how you do it you go up, you walk a little, you fall. You go up, you walk a little, you fall. You go up, you and until your brain, your little brain is evolved to understand, okay, if I go up, oh, this is equilibrium. Okay, oh, wait, I can put one leg in front of the other. Okay, so that's pretty much what you're going to do in the daily basis. If you're new to PC or if you're an experienced player already, that's the best thing you can do for yourself. If you want to be a professional in any game, 
and you don't use a software like this, you're literally wasting your precious time doing something that very intelligent people, like Hamer Seven said in Twitter, uh, if very intelligent people are using softwares like this to get an edge, a little edge of advantage, because in the competitive scene, any 1% that adds to a top performer counts. So again, let's get back into it. How do you do the exercise? Go from one route to the other one, straight line as possible, right? And then you're gonna do start doing like faster. Like try it. There's a guy that does. He's always uh, the best in this thing. Uh, his, his name is Ze Zach or Zeke. It's really interesting if you guys search him up on YouTube and watch him doing, even before you go to sleep. Because when you go to sleep, the latest 25 minutes of things that you watch is gonna go through your head. This is there's a guy called Matthew Walker. He was in the Joe Rogan podcast. He talks about this perfectly. He's a PhD. You can actually learn sleeping things that you want to learn, things that you want to become better, at, right? So that's pretty much it. There's no secret. You have a routine, you stick to it, you do 50 minutes as soon as you wake up and 50 minutes before you go to bed. Simple like this. Uh, another thing that I really like to do, floating hats, 400%. Okay, so I want to talk about this one because it's this one, I believe is one of the best scenarios if you want to get better Valorant. This scenario over here, look, look at this. You see this? This is literally one click, right? What you're going to do here is pretty much is going to work your prediction, your tracking, your click before, because for example, in FPS games, it's not really like if you, if you do super fast, it's more about the precision. So if you can track an object and click in the right time, in the literally the right time, that's why it's called the, the timing scenario. This is going to help you so much because sometimes you got to wait the target to get in your aim. This is like. There's two things you can do here. You can practice the tracking and click, tracking and click, tracking and click, which is harder. Or you can do the proper way, which is pretty much predict where the, the target's gonna be. So put your put your aim a little bit in front of it. So this is a tip. If you wanna pretty much kill someone running, right? You just put the, your or if you wanna track someone, you just put your aim a little bit in front of it, like literally over here. You see this? Literally over here. You're gonna be able to click fast and go for the other one, click fast, go for the other. Like that's it. Like it's simple like this. Not there's nothing crazy about it. But again, repetition is king. You gotta rep repeat every single day of your week. Uh of course there's all the all the exercises I pull it up there for you guys. So if you guys wanna get better, it's all about repetition, having a routine. Uh, you guys don't need to follow my routine or anything. I just like this routine a lot. It's pretty much what I did. I picked up all the routines that I think are the best in Kovacs. Uh, there's probably some more that I would be picking up, but I'm not sure. We'll see. I might update it. Uh, and I put it together uh, for a whole week of training. Okay. So if you guys want, I'm not uh, charging anything, but like nothing crazy like this. I'm literally putting in my description over here for free. You guys can try. Try for a month. See how it goes. If it helps you. You gotta sub me like the video. If it doesn't help you, don't dislike the video. Okay, so I see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna help a lot of you guys. This is one question that I get a lot. You guys enjoy, and yeah. Uh see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.